the open door policy promulgated by the 1978 economic reforms in China has since triggered a wave of foreign investments into the country. One of such investments has been the mad rush by major American high-tech companies like Apple and Google to establish their production factories there. Besides the free market and open door policy which this 1978 economic reform promoted, many reasons have been advanced as to why these companies flocked the Chinese manufacturing space within the past two decades. This is Bitty TV. China was once the go-to destination for these companies because of a combination of reasons. Number one is the production incentives. With the economic reforms of the 1970s, China has put forward a series of preferential tax policies which has made the country more attractive to a large number of foreign capital and foreign invested enterprises and has effectively promoted the adjustment and optimization of various industrial structures. The Chinese government has for the longest time used incentives like tax exemptions, tax reductions, tax refunds, tax credits and lower taxes to lure these American high-tech companies like Apple and Google. For example, depending on the type of business, corporate income tax or CIT is exempted on certain types of incomes, such as bonuses and dividends. There is also CIT reductions for income derived through transfer of technology. Tax credits are also available for costs that startup technology enterprises incur. Another tremendous pull factor has also been the lower CIT rates applicable to high-tech companies operating in certain regions like in the west of the country. Number 2 is the production costs. In addition to the production and tax incentives is China's low labor costs which made the country a much lower cost manufacturing nation suitable to American companies. The move to China was a financial imperative, considering that U.S. manufacturing workers who earned $20 per hour or more could be replaced by workers making less than a dollar an hour. Number three is the fact that China is a major market. Owing to its population size, and the growing middle class is the fact that China is not only the biggest market for most of these American high-tech products, but it is also where a big part of their growth market is. For example, Apple's most expensive iPhone model achieved its greatest year-on-year -year growth of 147% in China during the second quarter of this year. next reason for why China was once a manufacturing sweet spot for American tech giants is the presence of a large pool of engineering talents that the country possesses. On top of this tax incentives, the country is now endowed with a pool of local engineering talent. The remarkable investment in education by the Chinese government has resulted in a boom in the number of engineers who graduate from college, with approximately over 600,000 being produced each year. This has made China the largest producer of engineering graduates in the world. Number 5. A cohesive supply chain ecosystem. Supply chain forms an integral part of any business's operation. Without the presence of a solid supply chain ecosystem, it would be difficult for raw materials to reach manufacturing factories and for the manufactured products to reach us the final consumers. China has store-ready, distribution center-ready, and assembly line-ready distribution capabilities that are of great use to these high-tech companies, even though these capabilities are currently being highly threatened by the ongoing zero-COVID policy instituted by the Chinese government. In spite of all these factors that once played in China's favor, we are now witnessing a gradual move down south to Vietnam and India. Apple is gradually taking manufacturing of its products out of China. Google is doing same. So, what really changed? This is Bitty TV. Apple's latest iPhone 14 line of phones just got released with some noticeable design changes, 
but one of the most significant changes that came with them, and went largely unnoticed, is the fact that they are now made in India and not China. The same way Google's upcoming Pixel 7 line of flagship smartphones will be made in Vietnam. The reasons for this shift from China is largely explained by the zero-COVID policy in the country, which has forced lockdowns and paralyzed supply chains, but the reasons for this move are more profound than this. But before we continue, please just kindly take a second and subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, so that you won't miss out on any future uploads from the channel. Thank you. China has warned relations with the United States will be severely impacted if Washington's House of Representatives Speaker Nancy Pelosi visits Taiwan. The American politician is said to be headed to the island for a visit next week. Ms. Pelosi's office and the Taiwanese government have yet to confirm her trip. But local reports say it will take place after her visit to Japan this weekend. Tensions between Beijing and Washington over Taiwan has escalated recently, due to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to the island nation last month. For so long, China has claimed that the self-governed Taiwan is part of its territory. The recent escalation has increased the likelihood of a military confrontation. Why Taiwan is key to the survival of the manufacturing of products of American high-tech companies in China is because Taiwan is the main supplier of semiconductor chips highly needed in the manufacture of most electronic devices. Taiwan is home base for several key Apple suppliers of these semiconductors like the TSMC, Foxconn, Wistron, and Pegatron. And any military confrontation caused by this geopolitical tension will greatly disrupt Taiwan's supply chains and have a huge impact on the operations of these American companies. Also, Beijing's aggressiveness towards the West and the close ties it keeps having with Moscow have left American companies nervous, not to be caught in the wrong side of global conflict. This has increasingly made China an unpredictable ground to do business in. Over the past years, maintaining production in China is becoming costlier for foreign investors, with annual income of manufacturing workers tripling to more than $9,300, as per the country's Bureau of Statistics. Because of this, there has been an increase in the demand for low-income wage workers which India and Vietnam both offer. For instance, Foxconn, which is Apple's biggest contract manufacturer, on top of the $1.5 billion already invested in Vietnam, recently signed another $300 million deal to expand in the country. At roughly $300 per month of pay, the new jobs to be created by this expansion is less than half of what is offered for new hires in their Shenzhen assemble lines in China. The 15% tariff levied by Donald Trump on tech products coming from China also adds to make manufacturing costs heavier. This recent move by American companies like Apple, Google, and even non-US ones like Samsung to diversify their manufacturing and reduce their dependence on China might make the country lose its title as the go-to supplier and most promising growth market. But the economies of scale the country still enjoys over Vietnam and India makes the total departure from China look like a very hard thing for these American companies to accomplish just yet. With that we come to the end of this episode of Business and Technology. Thank you for watching. Until the next episode. Peace.